Hey guys, Heidi Easley here, and I am going to be teaching you how to paint an easy sunflower. So, I just want to say, um, first off, hi, my name is Heidi Easley, founder and owner of Texas Art and Soul, and I teach women how to make money teaching paint parties. So, I'm going to be showing you just a really simple um, sunflower today, and then those of y'all that are joining on, let me know if this is your first time, if you've ever... Um, hung out with me painting before. If you have, let me know. Let me know where you're from. And then if you're new, please put in there new and where you're from. I'd love to see um, where everybody's watching from. And I'm gonna try to lift this, but basically I'm just gonna do the whole thing really quick just to get a base coat on it. All right guys, good morning, or is it afternoon? I don't know, I'm losing track of time, days. <laughs> Anybody else do that? You're like, is it Tuesday? Is it, I don't know what day it is. Um, so anyway, tell me where you're from and tell me hello. And I just wanna say, um, I'm going to be giving away a hard copy of this. So if you use that little, just put in the comments, any kind of comment, it will send you a little link to see if you want to get a chance for the Paint Party Business Planner. Now, I have not even released this to the public. Um, actually, I'm not going to be releasing it to the public. I'm only giving it to people in Paint Party Headquarters, but you have a chance to, oh, you can't hear me? Can anybody hear me? Or is it just, oh, my mom's on. Is it just my mom or can y'all hear me? Let's see. I have the volume all the way up. Do you have your volume up, mom? <laughs> Hopefully y'all can hear me. Let me know if you can't hear me. Um, okay, so um, so yeah, make sure you have your volume up. Oh, good. Terry can hear. Okay, good. Okay, good. So maybe, mom, maybe your volume's off. Hi, mom. <laughs> maybe the volume's off. Everybody tell Susie. Put in the comments, Susie, turn your volume on so she'll know. Okay, good. Um, yeah, so the Paint Party Business Planner um, has not even, I'm releasing it to Paint Party Headquarters. Um, tomorrow, which Brendan, if you're on here, please write a note. We need to make sure we get this to the um, e version. And then I'm going to be giving one person who um, just says a comment in here. It's automatically going to give you a um, a link. It'll say yes or no. Just put yes if you want a chance to win. And then there's a place where you can um, enter where you could win. And then those of y'all that. Um, or like, hey, I want one, but I'm not in paint party business, or I'm not, I'm not in um, paint party headquarters. We open the door Sunday. Oh my gosh, I'm freaking out. So we are opening the doors Sunday through Thursday, and then we are not opening the doors again until to the public until May of 2020. So if you have been wanting to learn anything about teaching paint parties. You want, um, I cannot tell you how many messages I have gotten about this snowman. Can I have the design to that? Can I have the template to that? Can I have rights to paint that? Can I have blah, blah, blah? I mean, I am getting messages out the wazoo, and I know that's going to be a huge seller. Um, you have rights to that, the template, all the instructions, step-by-step, -step, exact colors in Paint Party Headquarters. So I am so excited to share that with y'all too. It's going to be really awesome. So um, set your calendars for Sunday. And if you are not on my email list, make sure you are. Oh, and those of y'all that are um, sprinkling the love around Facebook, that means you're just using the, the S word. I can't say it or Facebook doesn't like it. And um, I will be sending somebody some happy mail. So I have some happy mail. I'll be sending one of you. So those of you, and then just make sure you let me know by putting it in the comments. So I'll know um, which person we can pick. And please don't say you S word. It sounds like it's a bad word. <laughs> please don't say S word <laughs> unless you really did it. Okay, let's be and let's have some integrity. And Mary says, can we just skip to Sunday night now? I know, right? I am so excited. So Sunday night's gonna be a very, very fun night in the Easley house because we have, I wish I had a taller easel. Let me put this on a let me find a box so I can lift it up because I hate like just painting where I can't see y'all and watch for the questions. Um, let's see. Oh, thank you for sprinkling the love. Love it. Okay, hold on one second. 
Let me make sure. Hold on. Let me make sure. Talk amongst yourselves. One second, y'all. Okay, let me go find a little box because I want to make sure you can see all of this. Yeah, we have some really great surprises coming up for the ladies in Paint Party Headquarters that they don't even know about. I like to um, surprise as much as possible and give extra fun stuff away and just really cool stuff. And the planner was one of those surprises. And so I've had a lot of people asking too about the planner. Well, the only way you can get it is either by winning it through trying to win it by signing up um, through the link if you just put a link there then it's going to put you in a sorry sometimes these little things are hard to get going um it's, if you put like you know a comment then it's going to send you a message it's like the facebook autobots send a message i don't really know what happens but they send some kind of message and then um you can answer yes and then it'll give you a way to sign up for that so that's one way to get the Paint Party Business Planner. And then the second way is if you join Paint Party Headquarters on Sunday. I'm just adding a little white. And um, if you join Paint Party Headquarters on Sunday, then, and I'm gonna mix this with a little bit more yellow. Then you can, um, oh, I like that. I like that color. Um, then you'll get the e-version copy and then you'll have an, abil an ability to, um, that word doesn't sound right, an ability. The ability, is that right? I don't know. You will have <laughs> the chance to order a hard copy if you want. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> that didn't sound right. Okay, so I'm mixing a little bit of yellow with white, but before I do that, I'm gonna show you how I make a circle in the middle. So it's real technical, y'all, real technical. Y'all ready for like real techie stuff here? I'm just gonna do this, a paper plate. I know, it's, it's very techie in this real complicated <laughs> no you just use a plate that's all it is all it is is a plate you just put that on there and then just circle around oh you know what i would love to hear so we had this discussion some of y'all that oh and then just try to lift it up and um, we had this discussion not too long ago and i would love to hear so for those of you that are already teaching paint parties or maybe you're just getting started um, what is your favorite music to play at your paint party events? What is your favorite music to play? So I have made all the mistakes and have played all the, the wrong music. I'm just adding in some yellow to kind of lighten this up a little bit. I mean, I'm adding a little bit of white with my yellow. Um, oh my gosh, so I one time made this playlist that I thought was perfect like years ago. And, um, and it's real like mellow, chill. Like, I love some like country, like Chris Stapleton, Jamie Johnson. Like I love that kind of stuff. Well, not everybody loves like, oh, and Pink. I love Pink and Gwen Stefani. But some of their stuff, especially on the Misunderstood album from Pink from years ago, um, it's really mellow. Like there's some like ballads in there. And so I remember I had some of my country I had some of my um, ballads playing for Pink, and somebody at the Pink Party was like, what is playing on here? Like, they were just appalled. Like, what kind of music is this? And I was like, oh, I guess, I mean, I thought I, I mean, I spent all this time thinking, this is the perfect playlist. And yeah, it was putting them to sleep. So you have to have good music at a Pink Party, I have learned. You do not want to have bad music. So put in the comments your favorite thing to play at a Pink Party. And I have some fun ideas for you, too. Okay, Minnesota. Minnesota. I bet you hate it when people do that. <laughs> I love I love y'all's accent. I was actually born in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, but I didn't, um, we weren't there very long. But um, I always love that accent. I'm like, man, I wish I could say my nose like y'all do. I love it. And really, people always say, like, I don't have the accent. You have the accent. Well, I know I have an accent. Totally know I have one. <laughs> I'm not going to deny it. Okay, so I'm going to use some dark chocolate, or you could do burnt ember. Um, I'm just putting it on top of my yellow. I don't really care. I'm just going to do that. 
And then I'm not even gonna rinse my brush. I'm just gonna dip it straight from the yellow like that. And then I'm gonna go straight on top of this. So this is just a simple, fun um, painting that you can use for paint parties. I actually have the full instructions, everything to, that goes with this for the um, Paint Party Headquarters. Um, so if you're on here and you're in Paint Party Headquarters, I know you already have rights to pictures and things that you can use for this for your party. This is also um, really good if you wanna do a shorter party. So we can paint it pretty quickly and then even teaching it because it's just blocking out and I'm gonna add some, some really cool things here in just a minute. But um, it's not like a really complicated painting so you can make a lot of things happen pretty fast. Okay, so we got that on there. Uh, let's see. I started listening to Imagine Dragons after hearing you or Christy talk about them. Yes, Imagine Dragons is awesome. You can always put on Imagine Dragons. Um, also, Christy, she's also going to be, um, she's the owner of the Social Easel. We partner on a lot of things, and she's actually going to be one of the guest speakers at Paint Party Business Live. So if you have not got your ticket yet, we only have 30 more tickets left, and then we're sold out. Um, and I have, I have four different guest speakers, a ton of really cool stuff happening, some surprises. So when you fly in, it's at, it's at the stockyards in Texas. Um, and it's a two-day um, business conference, all on paint parties, how to get your paint party business going. And it's going to be at Billy Bob's. I actually rented out this giant venue. Um, but if you buy the ticket, it's on my website. Make sure you come in, you fly in on Wednesday to be there Wednesday by 7 p.m. Because I have a really cool surprise for y'all. Okay, this is going to be loud, so shut your ears. Sorry, just takes a second. I have to like hit these. Oh, yeah, it worked. Okay, so this is a bronze. No, it's copper, I'm sorry. Got the, the word wrong. Regardless, it's beautiful. I love using copper on here. Okay, so I'm gonna wash my one inch brush. And then I'm just gonna take it and just use some copper and just kind of brush on. Oh, there's a piece of here. Just kind of brush it onto here. And you could let this part dry a little bit more if you want, but I just sometimes just paint straight on. And those of y'all that have shared, thank you so much. Um, oh, I mean S word. I can't say, can't say the, <laughs> the full word. Um, thank y'all so much. I'm going to pick one of y'all to give some happy mail to you. Yes, Amber, I am so excited. I cannot wait. We are, we have so, if y'all could just see I should probably film some of the behind the scenes um, work we're doing just to make this event happen. Um, it, it is not an event we're just throwing together. <laughs> Let me just tell you that. There has been multiple thousands of dollars poured into this event. Um, surprises, um, tons of stuff. It's a, it's a working workshop. So for two days, you're not just gonna be sitting there. Like <laughs> you'll actually be doing stuff. We have two paint parties planned, one each day. So not only will you have, and um, you'll see me teach a painter's choice, you'll actually be part of the painter's choice. And Terry, why can't you say the S? Well, sometimes Facebook doesn't like it, so they won't show our video. It, Facebook algorithms, if you've ever studied them, they change every five seconds. So Facebook al algorithms get a little complicated. And so um, in order for more people to see this sunflower being made and to know about the Paint Party Business Planner, there's certain things sometimes that you can't say and they don't like for us to say that word. <laughs> Sounds like I'm saying a bad word. Don't say the S word. <laughs> but those of y'all that are sharing, thank you. Oh, dang it, I said it again. Oh, I, I just, I can't. I can't, I don't know, it's just gonna happen, I guess. It's gonna happen, thank you so much. Uh, let's see, Aloha, um, Heidi, where do you get that sunflower cutout? So the cutout you can get um, from Craft Creations, and then if you want to use, um, if you wanna like have rights to the design to use for paint parties, um, then you can join Paint Party Headquarters on Sunday, and then I'll have like all the color lists for you, 
everything. So it's pretty cool because when you get in there, you have so many things. Instead, besides the fact of lots of different designs, so if you're like, what is this paint party headquarters and why does Heidi keep talking about like crazy? First off, it is the coolest place to be. Second off, let's see, say sprinkle. Yes, sprinkle, I'm gonna say sprinkle. I know, my friend Tamara, she's so good at saying sprinkle and I just keep saying share. I keep saying share, I can't help it. Um, so, so yeah, so Paint Party Headquarters is like the coolest, most fun place to be. And um, if you are wanting to learn more about painting and wanting to learn how to teach paint parties, um, because here's the deal, we have over, we have around 420 members right now. Um, I'm just grabbing some jack-o'-lantern orange. We have, I know, don't tell my mom. I think my mom's watching. Sorry, mom. I know I used my teeth. I shouldn't have. Um, we have 400, around 420 members right now. And um, the coolest thing is, is like, Sometimes you think, okay, I'm all, you know, I'm signing up for that. Just, oh, thank y'all. Says, I, you know, you could say paint the love across Facebook. Oh, Kimberly, that's smart. Um, I like that. Now if I could memorize that. Um, a lot of times, you know, we think, okay, you know, yeah, I'll sign up for Paint Party Headquarters to get, you know, Heidi's knowledge or Heidi's information, which, you know, I've been doing this for over 10 years. So I have a lot of information and mostly from learning through failing, honestly. You know, I've done every mistake in the book. That's how I know how to do it right now. And let's see, Terry says, I'm in Dallas. Can we drive to the stockyards? Is there a link to Business Live? Yeah, I think Brendan's on. If you could put the link to the Paint Party Business Conference. Um, yes, you can drive and you can park at the stockyards. So that is a possibility if you don't want to stay there and you just want to drive in. If you're close, that's totally fine. And be prepared to come Wednesday night at 7 for the fun surprise. And then teeth are not jewels. Teeth are jewels, not tools. I know. I don't want to mess up my teeth. And this, like, y'all don't know this about me, but this whole part is chipped. I fell off my bike when I was little, and then it chipped, and then I re-chipped it falling off of a flower bed. I was trying to circle and circle and circle. And so this whole, like, if you look up close, those of y'all that are going to meet me in person, I'll show it to you. But there's like a little hairline crack. Um, and I'm always scared I'm going to re-chip it and I'll be in a position where I can't, like, get it fixed right away. And then I'm going to be so embarrassed because it'll be like this giant jag on my front tooth. Um, anyway, I had a point. What was I talking about? Um, no, I'm not. I made the... Okay, so Aloha Michelle says, if I pay for the Paint Party Business Live but won't be there in person, is there a way to be recorded so I can watch? Okay, so if you pay the full price for it, um, yes, I'm going to have it recorded for the people that are there. And if you've paid the full price for it, yes, you could get it recorded. What I'm not doing is offering a lower price. Like sometimes you'll see conferences and they offer a lower price for people who um, just want to do the recording. I made the, the decision months ago that I was not going to do that because I wanted to honor and respect the people who are taking, you know, that two, two and a half days, you know, plus travel time out of their life and out of their family's life to fully devote to their business. So I wanted to make sure, and plus there is nothing like being, you know, fully immersed in yourself for two and a half days to totally work. I mean, I just went, I don't know if y'all follow me on um, Facebook or Instagram, but I just went to Canada for a business trip and I, I invest every single year in business trips because I think it's just so important to be around people who um, are doing the same thing you're doing, you know, because I mean, our family, yes, they, you know, not all families support us, but yes, they support us and, but they, they still don't get it. Like they just don't understand. And so to be around people who like totally get it, like this is what we think about when we go to sleep. This is what we think about when we wake up. Like, you know, this is like our obsession, right? This is what we love. We live, breathe, eat, sleep. You know, I had somebody the other day that messaged me and was like, you know, all I can do is think about like teaching paint parties, but she's too scared to take action. And I'm like, well, do the steps I'm telling you, you know, like just do, you know, just do it. I know it's scary. Like, I know it's scary, but you have got to still try to do it because right now y'all, like we just released our, our paint party and um, revolution our three-part video series it's totally free totally free and yeah michelle you could totally do that 
you could totally just pay the full price and then I would send you the recordings. Um, I would just love for you to be there because you would get so much goodness too from that. But yes, that is a possibility. Um, but yeah, so there's just so, so much that you're going to be able to um, take away from that and it's going to be awesome. But yeah, I told, you know, every year I invest in my own learning and I have never regretted like, why did I do that? You know, because you're in a room with other people doing the same thing. Um, and, oh, Michelle says, I am so amazed when you emphasize God with your, with your ad. Let me see. With your ad. I'm not sure what that means, but yes, I do. Okay, so this whole Paint Party Business Conference, yeah, we will, we will be praying. This is, um, and I had somebody say, you know, I wish it didn't have God involved or I would come. Guys, I cannot separate what God has done in my business to just say it was on my own. Like, I'm just going to be right here honest with you. I did not do any of this on my own. Like, literally, if you know my story, if you want to go back and read my blogs, like, you know, we went bankrupt, we lost everything. I literally lost all hope and thought I was done for. Like, you know, I was just like, okay, I screwed up. This sucks. Like, you know, I'm not worthy of anything else. This is what it's going to be like. And then God showed me that, no, there's so much he can do with us and use us. And so whenever I, you know, even paint party headquarters, like we have a prayer and gratitude meeting every month. Um, we have a prayer and gratitude meeting every month. And I just cannot, cannot, and I will not, I refuse to separate the two um, because it's just what... I know is making my paint parties get booked. I know every time I tell people, I say, when you're frustrated, you have got to just stop, breathe, pray for God to show you opportunities and then take the action. You know, the, the video I just released yesterday, which is on my blog at texasartandsoul.com, the video I just released yesterday tells you exactly what to do to book parties. And it's not like fluff. I'm not saying like, good luck with that. This is kind of something that works. No, I use it right now. All of the women in Paint Party headquarters are using it right now. And we are booking paint parties from that. And so this you know, free video series, it's only gonna be available for a few days. And then I take it off and it's only allowed for the women in Paint Party headquarters. But you know, twice a year, I let it be available for about seven days online. And then you can use that and, and book that. And so, you know, I always say like, take a deep breath, pray for God to show you opportunities. And when, you know, people think, okay, you know, I, Heidi, you know, tells me exactly what to do, but you know, oh my gosh, it's still hard. It's still frustrating or something like that. Guys, nothing worth gaining is easy. You know, I wish I could say like, you're going to book a party and there's going to be 400 people show up and, you know, every bill is paid. No, like, you know, you build up to that. I mean, yes, I've had huge parties, but not all my parties are big. Most of my parties are around 10, 20, 30 people. And that's where I make the bulk of my money through paint parties. Yes, I've had 75 people parties. Yes, I've had 119 people parties. And I've, I've done that over and over again. But what I want you to know is that Anybody who tells you that it's easy is lying. Business, it's never easy, but is it worth it? Yes, <laughs> yes, it's worth it. When I am standing in front of a room and I get to share God's love through art, I get to paint at a fun private party where they're feeding me, you know, and letting me have all their great snacks during the, <laughs> the, the social events. Um, hanging out with people that, you know, sometimes end up becoming my really close friends. Yes, it's worth it. It's always worth it. Um, then I look around, especially around this time of year. Um, it's crazy. Sometimes I'll have a party of 40 or 50 people and I'll have, you know, six people helping. I'll have family show up that helps. And just to like look around and be like, oh my gosh, you know, I just made, you know, $40 times $40 a person for a few hours of painting with these people. Something so fun, you know? And I'm like, yes, it's worth it. It's always worth it. And how, I mean, when I, I don't know if you do this, if you, if you have anxiety issues, let me know. I mean, you don't have to, you might be kind of more concerned about that, but I used to, um, I have anxiety issues a lot. Like I have to take medicine for it. And long story short, like 
when I am in the middle of a paint party, my anxiety goes away. And you know why? It's because my, I am totally focused on other people. It's about sharing God's love through art. Now, I don't have to run around the room yelling God or, you know, shaking up, you know, but you can be kind to people and listen to people and hear their stories and ask about their day and talk about their grandkids. You know, you can do that while you're teaching a paint party and you never even have to say God's name, you know, yelling it out at your paint party, but you can still show God's love and people know you're different. People know there's something different about you. And I think it's so crazy that, you know, I can be going through the worst thing ever. But the moment I turn my focus on these women, you know, as I'm setting out paintbrushes, you know, praying for them to come, maybe they're coming alone, maybe they're by themselves, whatever the case may be. Maybe they just, you know, really needed a break from their kids. Um, we're able to serve them and help them and let them have fun and forget about whatever craziness is going on. I'm just using, using brown with the back of a brush. Um, whenever craziness is going on, they get to forget that for two hours. Well, the coolest part is because you are putting so much energy into helping them, you forget about all of your stuff going on too, you know? And I can be, it's so funny, um, I'll have the biggest paint party and I can have, you know, people asking for help or wanting paint or whatever the case is, and it's, I don't know, it's like the more you practice it, you know, it might be really hard at first, but the more you practice it, the easier it gets. And you will literally just, it's like, it's like brushing your teeth. You don't even know, like you're not even thinking about it or driving, you know, when you're driving, you don't even think about it, right? When you have been doing paint parties so long, and again, practice makes perfect, you can literally just, I mean, grab and go and talk and do the stuff. And that's what, at the conference, you'll see that. And you also see that too in Paint Party Headquarters because a lot of times I'll film me teaching live. Um, I just put some brown paint and made it flat. A lot of times I'll film me actually teaching live or I'll go live in an event for Paint Party Headquarters so that y'all can watch. But, um, but that's the thing, it just becomes second nature. And I was not always like that. Like, I seriously was so terrified of public speaking. I've told you all my Jack in the Box story, those of you that are new. Um, I was so terrified of public speaking. I made a huge Jack in the Box head out of paper mache. I walked into my college class with the head on so nobody could see how red my face was. And I did a whole informative speech on Jack in the Box chains, restaurant chains. I was terrified, I was trembling. You know, a few of my first paint parties was me staring at the paper you know, like hiding it behind the easel. Like, what's the next step? What's the next step? I knew the next step, but I was so traumatized. I was so scared. Has anybody ever done that at their paint parties? Like, they're so scared of what people are thinking of them. But here's the truth. Nobody is really worried about how you're painting. They just want you to show them. I'm keeping this flat, by the way. They want you to show them. They're worried about how they're looking. They're worried about their success. They're worried about like, is this lady gonna be able to like, come over here and help me, hold my hand through this, right? And that's where the fun happens because then you get to walk around and help people and talk to them and build relationships. And that's where I love, like I actually love that. And um, Sherry says, creative action takes the stress away. Want to share this with everyone. You know, it really does. It takes the stress away. And in today's time when the world is so crazy, um, and scary and can be terrifying. I mean, how much of a cool job is it to be able to do that? You know, we have a lot of people in Paint Party headquarters that work full time and they're doing this on the side. We have a lot of people that are retired doing this on the side. And, um, and what I can say to that is, you know, you don't have to go quit your job so you can do paint parties. You can do one a month, take that money, put it aside for a vacation, take that money, put it aside for Christmas, um, you know, my goal is to try to have, usually I would like buy all my Christmas by December, like December 23rd, I'd be trying to finish shopping. My goal is to have everything bought before like November 15th because I don't want to stress about it. And that's the thing, like I'll just take part of my paint party money and I'll just put that towards Christmas. And then I'll put some of my paint party money towards January because I love to take off most of January because that's not like a huge happening season for paint parties in January because everybody's just come off a ton of Christmas parties. 
Um, so that's not really a big, you know, draw. So instead of like going, oh my gosh, this doesn't work. Well, no, look at, you know, the way people's actions are. How many, how many massive parties are you scheduling in January? None. We all just want to watch movies on Hallmark and drink hot cocoa, coffee. I want to drink coffee. Oh, out of Mr. Mr. Potter's mug. And Rita Barker's on here. Her husband makes pottery. So awesome. And so he's coming, he's coming to Paint Party Business Live. And him and Rita, and I ordered a bunch of mugs. I'm like, can you bring me some mugs? Um, oh, thanks, Mom. And um, let's see, Penny says, God leads us to our passion. We just have to be listening and ready. Penny, yes, that is so true. Um, Aloha, Michelle says, this is what I make here in Arizona. I will send you my specialty of Hawaiian lays. Oh, that's awesome. Um, this is a huge reason that I love watching you. Oh, thank you. Yes, definitely God first. Definitely. Um, Brenda, how do you teach? Hello, Aunt B. Hi, Cher. Oh, we got another Paint Party Headquarters sister on. Okay, so I just added some white highlights. I'm gonna now just add a little bit of brown. Those of y'all that are just joining, if you sprinkle the love, hopefully you know what that means. It's the S word, I can't say it. But sprinkle the love, and I'm gonna give y'all a chance to win the Paint Party Business Planner. It is not even available for sale. But when you get the link, in the comments, it is very important that you say yes, because when you say yes, the little Autobot, Facebook Autobot, knows that you want to be entered in that drawing. And then those of you that are part of Paint Party Headquarters, tomorrow, Brendan, please remind me, tomorrow um, you're gonna get the e-version of the planner, and then we'll have access for you to be able to order the hard copy, I don't know, um, oh, pay, the 24 karat gold's coming. Amber, it's coming. Yeah, don't worry, Amber, it's, it's on its way. It's got, it's got to be here, it's a part of it. She said the 24 karat gold isn't on here yet. It's coming. I use it on pretty much everything. <laughs> it's my favorite paint in the world. Um, yeah, so if you, um, if you want to get, those of you in Paint Party Headquarters already, if you want to get a hard copy of this, um, I will have a, an access, I need to find out how much, um, and then I can get you a hard copy of this. And then those of you that want a copy, but you're not a part of Paint Party Headquarters yet, those will only be available inside Paint Party Headquarters. So um, we open the doors on Sunday. So I cannot wait to help you. Um, and you can be at any stage. You can be a already money-making artist. You're just needing help with some marketing strategies, social media hacks, whatever the case may be. Um, you can be a um, beginner where you're just kind of scared to paint. Like you're just like, I want to do this, but I'm not really sure. Remember guys, this is, oh, that's what I was going to talk about. What's happening Sunday. Thank you, Samantha, for saying that. Going full-time paint parties, joining on Sunday. Yay, can't wait to help you. Um, yeah, you can be um, a total beginner and then just start going through my tutorials because remember, every single thing I'm teaching you is beginner based. So these are things I'm teaching at my paint parties that are beginner. Now I could dot this forever. It's so fun. I'm going to put a few dots of copper and then I'm going to bust out the 24 karat gold. But I wanted to tell you what's happening Sunday. So Sunday we have a fun, busy day planned. So at 6 a.m., if you have been on my email list and you are not already a part of the Paint Party headquarters and you want to be, Sunday you can join. And by joining before Monday on midnight, you're going to get a bunch of bonuses, including we're going to have kind of like a virtual coffee time on Tuesday where we just sit, we're on a, a meeting, and you just ask me questions and I answer. Um, so that's going to be really cool. So make sure you join Sunday. Don't wait till Thursday. Don't wait till the last day. Um, and remember, guys, the doors are closed to the public until May of 2020. Because I do not want to sit here and just keep, you know, I love, I love giving free information out. Don't get me wrong. I love it. But I love more helping those that are in Paint Party Headquarters because now I can devote all my time, all my energy into doing all of those trainings for them, finding the newest things. That's why I am always investing heavily in myself and trainings because I wanna know what's working so I can keep passing it on to them. Um, and then Sunday night, we're gonna have it 7 p.m. I'm gonna be doing a paint party here, kind of 
opening the doors officially on Facebook, but you can go ahead and join that morning when you get your email. And then at eight o'clock central on Sunday night, we will have, it's a webinar. It's basically me telling you kind of like step-by-step, step, it's called um, three, it's like three ways to, I can't remember the title, it's really good. It's a good title, but it's gonna walk you through kind of, you know, how, how to get this started, all of those great things to do. Um, let's see, and then if you're like, I'm not really sure if I wanna be a part of it or not, I highly recommend coming on Sunday night at eight. Um, Cher says, that's why I signed up for Paint Party Headquarters was for the marketing and social media hacks. I have received so much more. If you are on the fence, get off and sign up. You will not regret it. Thank you for saying that, Cher. Yeah, um, it's funny. I was just doing a live in, um, oh, Aloha Michelle says, may I ask what the requirements are to join headquarters? Am I in? Um, okay, so on Sunday, the doors will open. You'll get an email, so make sure you get my email list. It's gonna tell you exactly what you need to do to join. And then um, the price, which I usually don't tell right up front, but I'll go ahead and say it to y'all. It's $35 a month, but here's the reason why I chose $35 a month. is because $35 is the going rate for teaching a one-person paint party. So if you only taught one person, like if you got all that information, which we've been open a year and a half now, and like I said, there's 420 members, um, we in just like just this truck and tree that I gave them last year, the people who used it pretty much paid for all of their family's Christmas. And you have rights to this too. And um, I think the same is gonna happen this year, which I've been messaged about a zillion times. I think this snowman, which is already in there, all the colors, the full tutorial, everything else. I have guest artists that come in. So it's not just my style, just that is gonna pay you way more than $35 a month. If you do if you do one paint party, let's say you do one paint party a month. You have 10 painters. I'm just putting some white lines if you hadn't guessed that yet. And if you have 10 painters and you charge $35 a month, which is the going rate, which I talk about your pricing, um, because it is very important not to just attract the people who want free water and bread at your parties, because then those restaurants are not gonna want you back. It's just what happens, right? Um, if you just do one party a month, that's over, that's $350 before your supplies. You're looking at a profit, if you use my methods and my techniques, you're looking at a profit of $290 for one month. So if you're paying $35 a month, which you can write off in your taxes, why wouldn't you wanna fast forward your success that much faster? Like I said, I don't tell people stuff to do just to do it. Like do this, this, we don't have time. We don't have time to do a bunch of crap. You know, um, I was on a Facebook Live earlier with Paint Party Headquarters and somebody asked if we were gonna do um, a bunch of Instagram training at Paint Party Business Live. I think we have a very small segment on that, but here's the deal guys. I have been doing Instagram and I am actively growing my Instagram, 24 karat gold. It's here, don't worry. I have been actively growing my Instagram, but that is not what is bringing me money through paint parties. So do I emphasize Instagram like crazy? No. Are there trainings in paint party headquarters for Instagram? There are a couple. But until I can fully see that I did this Instagram and now I have a paint party that brought me $350, I am not pushing you towards that. Because if it's not making you a profit every party, I don't want you devoting all your time and energy to a bunch of different things that aren't giving you, that's just gonna confuse you. Not only is it gonna confuse you, it's gonna make you frustrated, it's gonna make you not be able to make traction, but when you go have a party and you're like, I just brought home $290, which, guys, we are in the season. This is fall and Christmas season. Your parties, we had somebody post in Paint Party Headquarters, she had just done a post sold out two parties, not just people saying they're gonna come, actually clicked on the link and paid for them to come. Sold out two parties just from a few posts. That's it, because she's using these techniques and these methods, and that's the beauty of it. So if you have two parties, even of 40 people, like this one, I think she had a party of 40, it was a big one. Let's say she charged, just for math sake, 40 a person times 40, for y'all math 
what is that? <laughs> I think it's 1600, but I don't want to be embarrassed online. How much is that? Is that 1600? I don't want to be embarrassed. I think it's 1600. Four times four is 16. Yeah, that's right. Right? Is that right? Oh yes, Sherry, you will get a list of the exact paints. Exact paints. Um, yeah, but that's the thing guys, right now, especially with the fall and the Christmas happening, there is no better time, no better time than to try this out. Um, okay, let's see. I know my face is like right up here. Okay, um, may I ask, oh, we got that one. Oh, thank you Robin for sharing. Linda, I can't wait to help you. And um, let's see, you're gonna meet so many great ladies. That's like a benefit that we didn't even think because in, in Paint Party Headquarters, we do not tolerate bad eggs. And when I say bad eggs, I mean like negativity. Um, we don't tolerate people being unkind. Um, guys, I have the right to refuse service to anyone. And if you are a jerk, I'm sorry, but it's, it's not worth $35 for me to put up with people who are mean. Um, we are all about kindness, community, um, sharing God's love through art, and there is no place for somebody in there to always be negative. You know, we pray for each other. If there's things happening in our lives, yes, you know, I allow people to, to put prayer requests. I think that is very important to allow that. Um, but yeah, it's very, it's a friendly place to be, and we're all really encouraging. And um, Teresa says, Paint Party Headquarters is so worth it. I joined last time, and I've learned so much from Heidi. Thank you, Teresa. Um, Aloha, Michelle, which I love, by the way. I hope that's your first name. <laughs> says, I'm a real newbie. I mean, for real. Um, don't know how much with painting. Is headquarters for newbies, too? Yes, we have a lot of people who are kind of just getting started with painting. Um, Aunt B, who's on here, which I've talked about her before because I love her so much. Um, she's a grandma. She um, had painted five times before she joined and started teaching paint parties. She just had a palette, not, maybe it might've been two palettes, a freaking freight truck delivered a bunch of really cool things, which are in Paint Party headquarters, and delivered a bunch of things that she ordered because she had sold out events, sold out events. And she lives in a town with one stop sign. So I'm telling you, it can be done anywhere, anytime, any place. You just, there's money on the table. You just gotta go pick it up. And yes, I do give you a list of the colors. So like if this is one of the tutorials, you'll get the color list, the tutorial, the step-by-step, -step, all of that. Um, and also it cuts through the noise. So many times we think we have to like have the perfect photos taken, no, come up with the designs. When I was doing this by myself, I literally, that was what I really struggled with was the marketing, you know, like trying to like figure out like, what design is gonna work this time? What is gonna, it's all handed to you. Now that I've done this for years, I have a system and I know what designs work, what designs don't. And so here's your design, which we always give way in advance so you can start marketing it. And then you go with it. You can use my photos, there's so many benefits. And um, Kimberly says, I so wish I could join. I've been trying to have a guinea pig party and can't get anyone to come. Well, Kimberly, that is the reason you need to join because all of the tips, the support, the help, it's not just for me. You're looking at 420 other people. And a lot of times we get in a group like this and we think, eh, Heidi's the only expert. No, there are people in there teaching, oh my gosh, one lady in there, Leanne, she, um, she had, what was it? She sold 500 and something of her pieces from one, like one month. It was insane. Totally insane. She actually has a tutorial in the group too and that she shares with us. And that was part of the palette that Brenda ordered. So I am never the person that's like, I know I'm all. No, I'm not that person. I'm like, you know, here's what is working. Here's the newest things. Always keeping you up to date. But hey, there's other members in there that are teaching paint parties too like crazy that share as well, which is kind of the beauty of paint party headquarters. And um, Robin says, <laughs> I'm going to put an initial on here while I answer this one. Robin says, I have a painting with a twist and other companies in my area. Is that too much for one area? That is a great question, Robin. I have a painting with a twist two miles that way. I have a board and brush almost across the street from my exit of my neighborhood. Um, and like I said, it does not, does not mess up anything. Um, because of the way I teach you, you're not going to be a sitting duck, Robin. 
and the way I teach you, you're not technically based on five minutes of your house, you know? Um, I'm not saying to be a crazy woman like me, like I just got back from Florida, I do a paint party there every year, which is four states away, by the way. <laughs> but I've done paint parties in California, I've done paint parties in Alabama, and those have been to help pay for my vacations or fun or whatever I was wanting to do. Um, but it's totally, you. I'm, most of my parties are within two hours. Um, of my house and so whenever you do it that way you're never bound by your location I'm just doing a last initial I'm gonna go over that in a minute how do you sign up Allison ask okay so on Sunday make sure you have my e you're getting my emails I've been sending emails pretty much every day and so if you are not getting my emails, the way you can get them is to just comment. You're gonna get an auto robot that's gonna send you a message and then just answer yes. Click to enter so you have a chance to win a hard copy of the Paint Party Business Planner that I just created. And then you are going to be able to get on my emails. Um, let's see, Samantha says, I have a Facebook friend in your Paint Party headquarters. Oh, that's awesome, Samantha. Um, yeah, I can't wait to have you. Sherry Hen says, pray for me. Sherry, is there anything specific? If you don't mind being specific, you can put it on here, and then I'm sure a lot of ladies would love to pray for you. Um, Kelly says, when you join, in addition to me, um, when you join, you are going to earn back your investment tenfold. <laughs> Kelly, isn't that the truth? Um, you can be super active in the group or quiet and behind the scenes kind of gal, but you will be so glad you joined. Yes, you can be a wallflower. We love all. <laughs> um, Heather says, Paint Party Headquarters is the best and most supportive group I've learned so much. Oh, thank you so much for saying that, Heather. Um, another Heather in our group, like I said, we have 420 members in there right now. And she says, ladies, Paint Party Headquarters is definitely worth the money. Make the plunge and be blessed with all of Heidi's knowledge. Hashtag Paint Party Headquarters sister. Yay. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. It says see more, but I don't know why it won't let me see more. Let's see. We have no stoplight. Then you're good to go, Samantha. <laughs> you're good to go. No stoplight means big paint parties. It's nothing to do in the town, but paint. Be creative. Hang out with some people. Um, okay, let me see if there's any last questions. Um... It's fantastic. I'm actually making a profit in my business, Cassie says. And um, Heidi and the women in the group are fabulous. Ah, that's what I like to hear. Guys, I am not a person that's like, you'll make a profit in six parties. Heck no. You will make a profit from the very first party if you follow what I'm telling you. Um, and if you join on Sunday, we're going to meet for coffee, virtual coffee. Um, it'd be hard for everybody to fly in for a coffee meeting. But um, we'll meet for virtual coffee, and then you will be able to ask me questions like if you're like freaking out and you're like, oh, I just need some help. Like, I just want Heidi like an hour of time. We're going to all meet who joins before um, midnight on Monday. You'll get a link and you'll be able to meet me at 10 a.m. Central on Tuesday um, for coffee and just ask questions. Um, Eileen says, do we have to commit to a year? I've painted for 25 years but need ideas on booking paid parties. I live in a small town with a few more small towns within an hour. Great question. No. you do. Okay, so you do get a discount. You get a month free if you pay for a year in advance. But you can pay monthly and you can cancel at any time. The only thing I ask, Eileen, is that if you do cancel, first off, we hope you get in there and you love it and you see um, why we all love it so much. But if you do cancel, no hard feelings, but I do ask, it's kind of like if you cancel the YMCA, you don't get to take the treadmill with you. So if you cancel Paint Party Headquarters, that doesn't mean for a year and a half, all the painting designs, all the rights that I give you, which there's a zillion of them in there, that doesn't mean that you've been in there for two months and you have access for this truck and tree and the snowman and all of my designs for life. No, you have access while you're a part of it. Um, and I just ask that you be respectful and follow that. But, um, but yeah, you're going to learn so much. I think you'll, you'll be good to go. Hey, Sindel. We got another. Oh, Kimberly, too's here. Paint Party Headquarters. Um, Tara says, there's no commitment, but you have the rights to the paintings while you're a member. But it's so worth it. Yes, perfect. Robin says, I just moved to Florida and I don't know anyone to invite to a paint party. How would I get customers? Actually, Robin, I do not depend on friends and family. Um, I actually prefer that you don't <laughs> depend on friends and family because 
it's not about if you are trying to always get your friends and family to come to your paint parties it's going to be a short-lived business okay so i teach you not to do that that's how i teach you um aloha michelle says how do i pay for headquarters so when you get the email on sunday there'll be one email that comes at 6 a.m central then there'll be another one that comes around i think five or six that night when you get the link to pay for, you just click on the link it's going to bring you to a page you can pay with your debit or credit card or even paypal and then um, it's going to tell you the rest of the directions there let's see Teresa says my name starts with a g g's are hard <laughs> yeah another little tip is you can use um, graphite paper and like print out a pretty g and then trace it okay um lots going on and trying to get a business going with difficulties well i'll be able to help you so sherry asked for some prayer if y'all don't mind sherry hen she says lots going on and trying to get a business going with difficulties yeah there um you know i don't know your story personally but i know that you know anytime you're starting something new um there are challenges you know there's always that fear that creeps in there's always that like can i do this and in addition to, you know, maybe you don't have, a, you know, family supporting it. Um, there's a lot of things, but here's what I've found. You know, when I, and I'm, I'm standing here not telling you to, to quit your full-time jobs. Um, because I didn't. I built up. I built up my paint party business. I was working full-time as a teacher. Um, and I built up my paint party business for, um, for quite a few years before I actually decided, okay, this is overtaking my life, I think. God has other plans for me because I literally prayed since I was, you know, my dream was to be an art teacher. Like I prayed for that and I don't have my art degree. Don't worry, call if any students or parents are watching. I do have my degree. It's in um, communications, basically marketing and a minor in psychology. And I have uh, my associates in art, which meant I took a very few amount of classes. So I'm mostly self-taught. But I went back and got all my certifications so I could be a teacher. Well, that didn't teach me anything about art. That just taught me, you know, the test. It was just a bunch of, of tests. And so, um, so when I'm saying that is, you know, I had, had prayed to be an art teacher. I wanted to be an art teacher for many, many years and finally got up the courage to do it. And then um, I remember standing in Frisco, you know, Frisco ISD, I taught there. I was making, you know, great money as a teacher. And I felt so guilty because I wanted to quit and do paint parties full time. And I remember standing in the hallway, I, a few days before that, I had been crying to my husband and I said, I feel like God's wanting me to do something else. I feel like he's really wanting me to take this paint party business and do more with it. And I didn't know why, like I had no idea I'd be talking to you on a Facebook Live. I mean, Facebook Live back then wasn't even invented yet. And so I just remember like standing in the kitchen with him and crying and like, I feel like God wants me to do something more. And by that time I'd you know, been doing so many paint parties, I was basically full time. And then um, and then the next day I was, you know, it might've been a couple days later, I don't remember. But I remember um, sitting there and I was just finished. I had a fifth grade art club. They had all ran out, you know, I did a morning, you know, before school art club and they had all run out to go do their stuff. And I was standing like in the little doorway of my, my hall. And it just hit me because I had felt so guilty. Like, how dare I? Like, I'm in the perfect school district. I'm in the perfect classroom. I have a window, which is big. If you're a teacher, you know you got to have a window. I had a brand new kiln. I got to do anything I wanted. My, my principal was so supportive. I mean, she let me do tile projects with the kids, mural projects. Anything I asked, she approved. And, you know, I was very passionate. And I, I was so guilty that I was going to want to quit this job. Like, how dare I? Like, God has given me everything I've wanted, and here I am, like, ungrateful. And I was standing in front of the, in the doorway, and I was saying bye to the fifth grade kids, and it hit me. It was like, once you have accomplished a dream, it's like God gives you the ability to dream bigger, to have another dream. And it hit me just like this overflowing of, like, it's okay to dream bigger. Like you accomplished that dream. Now you can do something else. And, and, you know, I thought, oh my gosh, I got this. Now I got to be here for the next 35 years, you know? And I thought I'm going to be teaching for 35 years, but I knew my, my soul, my gut, like I knew I couldn't do that for 35 more years. Like I just knew in my being that that would not, I could not have, you know, it could not happen. Not that I didn't love it. It just, I knew there was something else I was supposed to do. And so um, my husband ended up taking a job. So I moved to part-time teaching. So again, I'm not here saying 
quit your full-time job. Everything's going to be great. Business is going to just do this. No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying businesses, all businesses are like this. What I can really help you and what I can really give to you, and I think this is where it's really going to just really like handhold you along the process is I'm going to be able to show you like here is when the business is like this. Here's when you need to be prepared. Here's what you do when it is slow so that you can still, you know, make a profit. Here's what you do when it's skyrocketing. Like right now, like if you're thinking about doing this and you're new to painting, that does not matter. When I teach this at a paint party, I don't even put, a, I don't even paint it. I say, I grab a brush. I usually grab somebody else's and I say, let's start putting yellow. And then I walk around and help. You know, so we're not teaching fine art. So when you get that out of your head that it's, guys, it's not about paint parties at the end of the day. It's not. And I know this is hard for some of you to hear. It is about sharing God's love through art. It is about creating a place for women to be together, to have fun, to be able to escape the reality of what's going on in their lives, for you to be able to escape, for you to be able to have fun. And at the end of the day, it is really not about paint parties. This is just the vehicle that we get to use for that. And I think once you finally realize that, and it took me a long time to realize that, um, it's just God can open up doors so fast, so fast. Um, okay, so if you have not seen those videos, go to TexasArtAndSoul.com. You will have access to those videos. They're only here for a few days. Um, let's see. Let me make sure there's no other questions. I'm about to wrap up. Um, where do you find the pricing? The pricing for what to what to charge people? Is that what you're asking? Um, anyway, maybe clarify that too. And I'll go back to and see. Um, anyway, I just wanted to say thank you all so much for watching. And um, if you shared this, we're going to be picking somebody to, you know, sprinkle. Oh, dang it. Sprinkle the love. I always say the S word. Um, sprinkle the love. So if you've shared it. And then if you get that comment from the Autobot, make sure you do yes, because then you are going to be able to get a um, chance to win a hard copy. Like I said, these are not available to the public, only to people in Paint Party headquarters, unless you win it through this. All right, guys, this is a simple um, flower here. I have one that's, oh, sorry, guys. I have one that's kind of finished that I added a bow to. You can see it just hangs on your door. It looks really cute if you put an actual wreath behind it. Um, it looks really cute. And this one, oh man, Amber, I did not add gold to this. I'm going to have to add gold to this one. Very upset with myself right now about not adding gold to this one. All right, guys, I hope y'all join on Sunday. I cannot wait to help you with your paint party business. And um, we'll talk then. All right, see you later. Bye, guys.